So it is, it is a very interesting arena when you start operating in kingdom. Because not only do we have to know kingdom, believe in it, we have the faith, but now we have to learn the kingdom language, right? Because we're not selling, we're not buying, we're not investing, we're simply exchanging, we're co-vesting, we're coming together in common unity, we're honoring each other, we're not uh, selling to each other, we're honoring through an honorable rewards protocol in a royalty and relationship sharing covenant. So we're learning all this language. On top of that, I have to be able to defend the jurisdiction by having the right legalities, the right documentation to um, effectively distinguish myself from one jurisdiction to another, right? That's very, very key. Um, yep. And then once we're in there, we're, we're tied to the whole kingdom as it as it stands today and so the whole kingdom itself is offering and providing opportunities such as real estate syndication you know cash value life insurance and other self-supported ministries that we can redirect our tithing essentially or giving to this jurisdiction and then our tithes our giving doesn't just pay light bills and doesn't just feed people right so the seed doesn't get spent, but rather we're able to take the seed as a whole, co-vest it, create a cash flow vehicle first, and then let the harvest feed the people, pay the light bill, pay the this bill, and the that bill, and the that bill, and the et cetera, et cetera. It's brilliant, so brilliant. Being able to tap into that while you're doing your thing is something that I'm, I'm in that process of right now. So what I do is what you guys all see here. This is what I do all day long whether it's one-to-one, -one, one-to-many, or uh, pre-recorded content. So I'm just doing what I do. I'm in my gift, I'm in my purpose, great. In addition, I'm able to point people to a honorable rewards protocol system where they go through an academy, they learn kingdom, they learn language, they learn jurisdiction, they learn ecclesiastical law, they become certified. Now they're an ambassador, now they're doing the same thing that I'm doing, but I'm receiving royalty rewards for building up a disciple and then going out two by two by two by two by two by two, like Jesus did in a sense, right? Uh, or I should say how Jesus commanded his disciples to go two by two, two by two, in that sense, to uh, baptize all the nations, essentially, and teach them the kingdom and the good news, right? Being the great commission. So being able to create that sustainable wealth tax-free, right? tax accepted because we're in a we're in a different jurisdiction right meanwhile being able to operate exactly how what we're already good at and then have that whole thing be tax accepted tax free completely tax free um, and now you're operating like the elite do the ultra wealthy do it's a, a different ball game i believe that route may take a few years that's just me from what I'm observing so far. It looks like that's gonna take a few years to establish everything. In the meantime, my focus is just increasing the cash flow, increasing the income. The more income I can have, the more I can move it out of the jurisdiction, um, simultaneously finding people like you and others on the call that are willing to take the same journey so we can both be learning it and then teaching each other, essentially cutting down that timeline, right?